Good afternoon, welcome to another How to Code Well web chat. My name is Peter Fisher, and in today's episode, I would like to discuss why I feel like I've turned my back on Windows, and perhaps why I find uh, maybe I um, maybe I'm re regretting it um, slightly. But um, it's not because I'm a, a, a fanboy of a particular brand or um, a particular type of operating system. I do like, uh, I prefer Linux, and I prefer. Um, uh, Mac, but um, it, it it's not it's not the hardware. The hardware doesn't really do it for me because it doesn't really matter that uh, this MacBook Pro that I'm on here um, is silver instead of black, and so that 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 aestheticness to me doesn't really matter. I'm a software guy. I'm not a hardware guy. Um, you know, I don't really care that the back of this has a has a light and, and so forth. If it does its job and it does its job well, then that's fine. But um, the setup I've got here is uh, primarily Mac and and Linux. So I've got uh, for, the, for the Linux side, I've got um, uh, Debian, various flavors of Debian, um, Ubuntu, Kubuntu. Um, I've also got Fedora, a bit of Red Hat, a little bit of um, Gen two as well, and then for the daily driver is the, the MacBook Pro, and I'm considering moving on and getting some iMacs and, and, and so forth in the office. Um, but it's like I said, it's not because I like you know, it's not because I follow a brand. It's not because like every year when Apple bring out a new product, I go, I must buy that because it's the latest and greatest. No, I will upgrade this Mac whenever I'm the the, the speed starts getting sluggish, whenever the Unfortunately, whenever the disk base starts to run out, because that's now a, you know, a solid state drive, you can't change it. And uh, whether the when the RAM um, starts slowing down, but the um, this has been spec'd up to the hills. It's like 16 gigabytes of RAM, i7 uh, jobs. So that's not going to happen for for hopefully a while yet. So uh, I'm not going to go out and buy a new MacBook Pro, the, the one with the Touch Bar. Personally, I see the need for that uh, in what I do, but. The reason why I've got to this point, the reason why I've got this setup, isn't because of my um, my liking of the hardware. Because, like I said, I'm, there's no emotional attachment to it. It's because of the career decisions and the changes in the career that have pushed me into this avenue. So, just to give you a bit of background. When I started out as a web developer, I was working on Windows, and that's because I I was very green. At, at, you know, as a junior developer, it, Windows was a very safe place for me because you know that's what I used at school, that's what I used at college, and that's what I used at university. Um, and I was using things like NetBeans and Eclipse as a means of developing the the website, um, and then using things like uh, f uh, you know FTP, so FileZilla, Smart FTP, Pure FTP, those kind of FTP clients to push the code from your development environment all the way up to the to the servers or so testing and production and so forth. Because I was junior, because I was green, I didn't have the need or the experience to do any kind of manipulation on the server. So I didn't need to do or didn't need to concern myself with any backups or any data importing or data manipulation or, um, or you know, the export scripts and the import scripts and that kind of thing. Um, I was purely a PHP developer and I was purely just just building brochure sites from a very early age from from an early stage of the career as my career progressed as the um, as the complexities of the projects grew um, there was a need to do all of those kind of things um, and so I had uh, a Linux box that I was playing with that I could break and and fix and then in doing so you, you breaking and fixing you you learn from from the, your mistakes and so forth, um, which was really handy. So I was learning things like SSH and SCP, which meant that the the need for using FTP um, started to fade because you know I was starting to learn how to move files around um, far more efficiently than using FTP. Now I've got a uh, talking about FTP. I've got a video that I will link uh, here. Um, and that talks about why I think FTP is a bad smell, especially uh, in, F in 2017, 2016. Um, uh, I won't go into the, those reasons. You just have to check out that video if you're, if you're interested as to why I think FTP is, 
is a, is a bad smell for deploying websites. But anyway, so the, basically as the career moved on, the need for using Windows started to reduce. So, um, so at the time I also moved to using a Mac um, and I was given a Mac, which was, um, or, or, you know, that was my, my uh, machine at the office, which was fantastic. Again, you had the, because Mac uses, um, it is based off of Unix, you can then, you know, use your it, the terminal like you would um, so instead of using things like putty that we were using to SSH into the, to the Linux box, I could then just do that from the terminal. Um, so again, that, that was another that was another Windows application that I just didn't need to use in my life because of the Mac. Um, then as the career moved on, um, uh, oh yes, um, I should say also I was I was into graphics at that time. I was doing some graphic work, so Photoshop was a requirement too. But as um, as the career moved on and I moved, I moved on from there, um, I was actually put onto a team that um, due to enterprise reasons, due to the business decisions, everybody, every developer was running Windows, even though all the servers were Linux, um, which was fine. I went back to the Windows environment. Um, I was very comfortable there. Uh, but the way I got around the um, because I still wanted to develop my Linux skills, the way I got around it is to dual boot. So I had a Windows um, uh, partition and a Ubuntu partition, and I would swap in and out. That was quite handy for when I was doing uh, image things. So when I wanted to play with Photoshop, I would go into the Windows partition, and when I was doing the code, I would switch back into the uh, Ubuntu partition. That kind of worked, but then it got really kind of... There was a... a it just it just added an extra barrier to do any work because you had to log it out and reboot and then log back in as another user as a different operating system just to do changes it got very painful and i know that uh, you can use photo um, gimp in in uh, ubuntu but um i was you know back then i was very comfortable with windows still very comfortable with windows so uh, that was uh, uh what i preferred doing um, to get around that issue of the dual boot, I used um, sort of a virtual machine. So I ended up having a, the Windows host and then um, having Ubuntu in a virtual machine using VirtualBox. And that was pretty handy because I was still learning the skills, as I still am now, for, for Linux. Um, everybody's still learning. Uh, but you had that sort of safety net because every time you wanted to upgrade the kernel or every time you wanted to do a, a, an apt get of something or other, uh, that you were feeling a little bit risky about maybe changing the version of PHP or whatever, uh, you could do a snapshot. You could create a snapshot and then if everything went badly, you just reverted back, uh, which was really good. And again, you had the, the, the safety net that was Windows, uh, which was really, uh, which made me feel pretty comfortable at that time. It was only until I moved to a company that was purely Linux. So all the developers had some form of, of Linux machine um, or Unix machine, I should say, because some of them had Macs, um, that I really cut the ties of, of, of um, uh, Windows. Um, and it was also around the time when IE6 and IE7 <clears throat> were starting to fade away. And that was a really good, that was really good just for in the web development community um, because all of those problems that IE6 had and IE7 had, but the need for testing and the need for Windows again started to reduce. So I was at this point in the career, I had no need for, um, you know, the, the IDEs were Java based, so NetBeans, and Java can just run happily on, on Linux. Uh, I wasn't using FTP, I was using SSH, so there was no need for FTP clients. There was no need to test in IE6 and IE7 anymore because those just didn't exist or they were fading out. Um, and also um, using tools like BrowserStack was enabled me to, to, to test the websites in a humongous array of browsers and operating systems and versions of the browsers, far more than I could ever dream of having on my... Um, on my on, on the laptop here so that got reduced you know the need for windows reduced 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 and the nail really 
the final nail in the coffin for my Windows um, ecosystem was when uh, I started developing Xcode apps, you know, iOS stuff, uh, because um, with with Xcode you really need an Apple device, you need a Mac in order to develop those those uh, those applications. Now I know that you know you probably a lot of you are screaming and saying, yeah, you could have just created a Hackintosh. I really didn't want to spend weekends just faffing about with the build of a machine uh, when I could just go into a shop and say I need a laptop. You know, I saved hard to get the Mac, um, but I did so knowing that I would end up with a product that just worked for what I needed to do. Um, and I, I'm not interested in, in, in building uh, machines anymore. I, I, I was at a very early stage, but um, I, I, I like I said, I'm a software guy. I prefer playing with the software. Um, so yeah, that's kind of where everything how it's how it is um where why i've got this set up now and why i feel like i i have left turned my back completely on windows now um everything i can think of that i would need windows for i can think of a solution either in the cloud or just something that 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 apple or a linux machine can do um and to solve that problem um and it's weird because when I when I moved to that company that just did Linux stuff, I felt a, a, a need for um, you know it's like a rebellion move. I, I'm no longer in the closed source community. That safety net of Windows has now been removed, and in fact that was one of the reasons why I was doing the dual booting on the virtual machines because I, I wanted to be that rebel, that that open source guy that 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 you know that that didn't need to have that reliant rely didn't need to rely on windows even though it was there um and also uh in that part of the career i also learned lpic or part of lpic which is you know the, the linux uh certification and stuff uh so i was able to go to that that uh, linux only place and it was you know feeling slightly confident that, um, that, that that things could work out in fact a lot of those devs had Macs because it was you know because because you had the unix thing there um but i'm starting to feel now a little regretful a little sort of like you know i've cl I blinkered to what windows is doing because windows is moving on so much um and has moved on so much since i've used it so i last turned on a windows device in fact the last windows device i had was a nokia lumia which was just rubbish um but the last operating system the last um thing i used for um uh, developing a website on was xp and that was actually in a virtual machine within fedora so um uh in fact that so that's gone the other way right so before i had windows and then ubuntu now i'm having like fedora and then uh, Windows on top, um, but I, I haven't turned that on for ages because I haven't needed to. Because it's like you know, if 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 there's a bug in in say some CSS in IE, then I just log into Browser Stack and spin that up. Um, you know, um, but like I said, I'm starting to feel like I need to 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 not that I need to, but I want to just play with a Windows device because. Like I said, the uh, they've moved on quite far. You've got the Surface uh, line, which you know is is moving in directions that perhaps other products aren't. Other other manufacturers like Google and um, and Apple aren't. So you know, touchscreen displays. You've got the Surface Studio, which is amazing. I cannot think why I would need to have it, uh, but again, it, it looks pretty. It looks super cool um, and super expensive too, um, but maybe uh maybe i'm missing something maybe i'm 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 losing out in some way by not having a windows machine but again it's a more of a want rather than a need and it's really weird having that that sort of role reversal because um like i said when i uh in the career I, it was kind of a rebellion to to go pure linux then then have have uh microsoft stuff but now i'm starting to think maybe Maybe 2017 is the year that I that I get something that that is 
uh, purely Windows, although right now I cannot think of what it could be and what use I would have for it. But um, anyway, I would be very interested to hear what you guys think and if you've had a similar experience. If you've consciously made that choice of, of, of changing the operating system, maybe you follow a brand and, and that's basically what, what, what you what you do maybe you or maybe you've had your um the the hardware and the software tailored to the like me that you you've you've gone down the route of the career has moved you into this position and, and has has um, meant that you've had to go into this direction um because of the career maybe you're a dot net developer and uh, maybe that's and so microsoft is is all you know but you're you're quite interested to see if the grass is greener on the other side. Um, I'd be interested to hear from you. One thing I would like to just say before I leave is that um, you certainly, certainly, certainly do not need to have a Mac in order to develop a website. Um, please, if you're a junior developer and you're looking and you're thinking, oh gosh, I need to have a Mac. No, don't, don't, not at all. Um, you know, your Windows machine's just fine. Do it in, in um, Notepad and 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 off you go. Um, the the only like I said, the only reason why I've got this kit is because of the decisions that were made in the career and the career path that I took, um, and the requirements of that, the requirements of the client and so forth. But anyway, I digress. Um, as always, my name is Peter Fisher, and you can catch me on Twitter. Uh, my Twitter handle is pfwd. Um, if you like this video, then give it a thumbs up. If you would like to listen to more of my ramblings or if you want to see any of my tutorials that are coming through, uh, then please do subscribe. Share this video if you found it helpful. But uh, as always, thank you very much and I will see you again soon. Thank you. Goodbye.